I have discovered the secret to my longer load times. Namely, uh, if you... If I start uh, my recording while it's still loading, it takes longer to load. Go figure! So, um, mm, I don't feel all puzzled out anymore, so that should be that should be a little bit easier to do here. Um, I think I actually want to put that L block here. I'll put that L block here. Um, That L block here. I can't actually do that, can I? Um, I can put that L block here. Put that L block here. Okay, you know what the mistake I was making is? I was trying to just create a square area with these L blocks, but it doesn't quite work like that. I actually need to create more than a square area. Um, so that I can subtract the square area from it and still encompass everything. So let's put this here, perhaps. Let's put that there. Now I need to create a square area first and then add the last bit to it, and it still has to somehow span this entire thing. That doesn't make sense, does it? Let's put that L block there. Let's put that L block there. And let's put that L block somewhere else. Here, maybe. Here? Perhaps? I'm not actually fully understanding how these puzzles work. So let's go back, since I appear to have forgotten. Um, what did I do here? I put that one there, I subtracted one, and then I put this one underneath it, I think. Right? Right? Um, and to solve that, I just need to trace out the boundary of that shape, which ends up looking like that. What? Oh. Um. Oh, hold on. Right? Yeah, okay. So this can be done in a lot of different orders, can't it? But you're gonna have to generate one of these. Just put that there, put that there, subtract that out. Uh, that's no good, right? Um, so let's actually put that there. to overlap each other in a square. So let's put that, put that there, put that there. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. but it needs to include that piece somehow. This puzzle is really blowing my mind right now.
Why would there be a control down here? There's no reason for there to be a control down here, right? Unless... Unless that lets me solve the environmental puzzle. Ha ha ha! Ha ha! just don't want to draw this out meaning on pencil with pencil and paper except I can't do that because I I said I wouldn't uh, okay so let's put this here perhaps let's put that there not there that doesn't work let's put this here I need to somehow include this right and then I need to somehow include this end as well. But then I also need to include the top. So some questions here would be... The other tutorial puzzles for this. I'm pretty sure I already determined that I have to enclose enclose those little blue subtractive squares in something. Okay, so that means you can rotate them. Let's check this out again. You have to include the blue square. Um, no, this isn't a good puzzle to test that with. This might be one to test it with. If I exclude the blue square, the blue square also complains. It's not just this guy that complains. But what if I do... This, I've included three. Yeah, you have to include the blue square as well. Okay, that answers that question. Gotta drain this red pump already. Just... Just need to solve these two puzzles. And I'm home free. But I don't understand it. If I don't include the blue square... Do I? Well, there's no way to fit all of these together without including the blue square somehow. I'll come back to this. No point banging your head against a puzzle when you're just not seeing it. What else can I do in the meantime? I can use my newly discovered means of fast travel. And maybe finally figure out what these little windmill thingies do. Or what these color thingies do.
pretty mangroves. Oh. So basically, I can't divide those. Okay, well that seems easy enough. How's that different from a regular maze? Even if they're not contiguous, I can't divide them. Yep, that makes sense. Simple enough. There needs to be some connecting path. So I assume this will work, and this will also work. Yep. So some connecting path between the two. Hmm. Just need to go all the way around like that. Topography. Am I right? point of that one. What? They have to be paired up? That's the other rule. There can only be two. Let's divide this in half. Oh, I didn't leave a place. Um... That's the only way up. Have to be paired. Going for non intuitive solutions here. Let's so maybe try pairing up the top two, those two, these two, and these two. Because that looks a lot easier to manage here. Okay, no, I need to pair these two, these two. No. Oh. Um.
slowly unfolding bridge. At least I kind of understand how these ones work, but this looks like a whole another picture. You need to be done in pairs. Straightforward pairs don't seem to be working. Okay, so there's a mental leap I'm not making. Oh, I know what it is. I was just making that comment about topology, right? Like, basically when I start out, I need to already have a way to... So I'm not going to click on it, but I, I want to just because... Oh, I, don't, I guess I don't just don't need to start on that. So whatever course I initially take needs to be have the potential to take it, take me on either side of half of them. And then I can modify from there, I think. So let's say I start out with that course, right? Um, and then I can modify it so that it's like that. it around, right? I can modify it again so that it's like this and so that I'm not understanding the general form of this problem. looked a little bit like frowny faces for some reason. See? It's a frowny face. Oh. I don't want to go through this entire zone right now. I think I might just look at my wonderful four laser accomplishment over there. And call it quits for now. Whoo! Those, those tetromino puzzles really make me fatigue quickly. 
I don't I don't think my visual memory is that good. Like I can't hold that many things in my head at once. Oh well. <laughs> That's what this game is for, right? Anyway, I'll catch you later, you lovable nerds.